A female police officer pleading with a crowd of 200 men, some calling for the beheading of a woman whose clothing they thought was etched with verses of the Quran. Crucially, it wasn't. I spoke to Assistant Superintendent Saida Sherbanu, who's just received an award for her bravery. It could have escalated. Yes, my own life was in danger. Yes, there's no doubt about that. The team which was present on ground, their life was in danger. There's no doubt about that. But there are certain things that you have to do in the line of duty. And at times you have to go beyond that line of duty. Our lives, when we're in a, such a situation, they become pretty secondary and not so important because the, 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 um, the, the life of the victim is at stake and then the image of the country is at stake. When you went in, you, you managed to get her out of there, uh, you know, again, with great risk. What did she say to you afterwards? Uh, when I got in there, she said that she would be killed and they'll kill her. Afterwards, when we got her isolated, we, were, we had her in a secure location. I made her change her clothes. That's when she smiled for the first time. And the first thing that she said was that she wants to go back to her family and she wants to meet her child. That was the first thing that she said. This is not an isolated incident, as you say. We've seen this happen time and time again, not just in Pakistan, but, but in the region as well. What do you hope will change from this? Uh, because, of course, this won't be the last time we see an incident like this. Hopefully this would be the last time, at least in Pakistan, given that it is going to prove to be a very uh, solid, positive case study. The most important thing is that it has made the society question itself. Because the four and five minute walk that I took from the main Ferozpur road till I reached that area is a bustling bazaar. It's a bazaar full of people. It's a bazaar full of customers in multiple shops. So people were going on with their daily activities all the while knowing that there is a woman surrounded by around 200 people ready to be lynched. So that's the question that is going to be posed on the society's consciousness, on its conduct, and how it has morally degenerated and why it has de degenerated to such an extent. So now people have started asking if 200 people can be ready to lynch her, why can't 600 people be ready to protect her? Well, uh, Sherbanu, many say what you did was courageous. You got an award, uh, the country's highest law and order uh, award for being fearless. Do you consider yourself a hero? This is too big of a question to, for me to answer. And this, since it's a perception-based question, uh, I think people around me would be a better judge of, uh, of this and would give you a better answer as opposed to me. <laughs> Sherbanu, thank you so much for your time.